In this lesson, we're going to take a look at writing numbers in words. So we'll begin here with 54. And the main trick with all of these is to just make sure we're spelling things correctly. Because we're literally just writing out the words 50 and 4. Now in this case, we do need to do one other thing, and that is to put a hyphen between the words 50 and 4. Now, sometimes you'll use hyphens, sometimes you won't. So the time when you need a hyphen between two words is when the first word designates, say, the tens place, and the second one designates the ones place. That would be a time you'd use hyphens. Uh, or, if the first word designated ten thousands and the second designated thousands, or ten millions and millions, and so you kind of get the pattern here. So those are the times when we're going to use a hyphen. Otherwise, we don't need them between the words that we're writing out. Moving down to this next example, uh, notice there's a comma involved. Commas are nice because they basically tell us you can ignore everything to the right at first to begin the translation. So I'm going to look at this 3 and not even worry about the 648. And, of course, that 3 is in the thousands place, so I'll write that out as... 3,000. And if you want, you can put a comma just like you have in the number. You don't necessarily have to, though. So 3,000, and then now we can just focus on 648. So I'll write out exactly what I heard myself say. And the 40 is designating the tens place here, and the 8 is designating the ones place. So because that's happening, just like in the 54 we had before, we're going to put a hyphen between 40 and 8. Now, I specifically chose 54 and 3,648 as the examples I wanted to use here because I wanted to point out kind of a strange spelling issue that comes up with 4 and 40. Notice that the word 4 has an OU in it. The word 40 does not. So just try to remember that as you are writing out your numbers. So anytime 40 is involved, don't put a U in. Anytime 4 is involved, make sure you do put a U in. Now let's take a look at this last example. We've got two commas involved, and so since there's two commas, we know that this 13 is representing millions, right? So we're going to start by writing out 13. million now we move over to the next three digits and of course these are designating thousands so I'll write out 78 thousand and notice I put a hyphen there why did I do that because the 7 is in the 10,000s place and the 8 is in the 1,000s place. And looks like I don't quite have enough room to finish on the same line, so let me bump down here to write out 200 61. And again, because the 60 is representing the 10s and the 1 is representing 1s, I put a hyphen between those.